Hey everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. Welcome back for another shoebox unboxing for Operation Christmas Child. If you are unfamiliar with Operation Christmas Child and you'd like to know a little bit more, you can check out the link in my video description below. And if you have further questions, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer them. Today I want to share with you a shoebox that I just packed for a 10 to 14 year old girl with an equestrian theme. Last year I did an equestrian theme for a 10 to 14 year old girl and it was one of my top three most popular shoe boxes that I unboxed for y'all. So I wanted to do another one this year uh, which I am naming Horse Girl. And yes, there is such a thing, a horse girl. I looked it up. A horse girl is someone whose life revolves around horses. And horse girls can be of any age, but typically refers to young women aged 10 to 29. So I thought that was perfect for this 10 to 14 year old girl shoe box. When she opens her box, She's not going to see a lot of horse stuff on top. She will see that I've decorated the lid with a horse. This is some packaging from an item that is inside. The way it worked out when I packed, I wasn't able to get the horse items right on top. But what she will see is a really nice sewing kit that I've made for her and a yard of fabric. I did a video several months ago on what I include in my OCC sewing kits and if you would like to see that video I will link it below. I'm not going to open this up. As you can see it's tied nicely with a ribbon. It has this little um, card that I made from um, some image that I found online. Punched some holes in it and tied a ribbon around it. And then it's um, slipped into a, an Ipsy bag. The Ipsy bags were donated to me by someone I was collecting shoe boxes from. She asked if I could use her all her Ipsy bags and I said absolutely I can use them and they are perfect for sewing kits. And then she also has a yard of pretty floral fabric that I got on clearance at Walmart. I think after Easter last year. And then inside the, the sewing kit, I will just tell you, it has thimbles, six spools of thread, three neutral and three colored, zippers, sew on snaps, needle threaders, straight pins, and some little tins that the straight pins and sew on snaps, and some buttons uh, that go in there. And those items were donated by Joan, Denise L., Linda Hitchcock, and another anonymous donor. And then I also added seven inch scissors, a seam ripper, and um, I think I already said buttons. So it's a great little sewing kit. Another fun item that's right on top of her box that I feel pretty certain a young girl this age will love is a pair of sunglasses and it's in a nice little snap open case with hearts all over it. it, says hearts and hugs on it. That came from the Dollar Tree around Valentine's Day. And inside are a really nice pair of 100% UV protection sunglasses in this red translucent frame that I also found at the Dollar Tree. It's not their, you know, regular brand. It's, it was an outside brand. So those are really nice. Now she's going to start to see some horse items in her box. And as the lid suggests, she has a spirit horse in there. Spirit and her rider, Lucky, both of whom got some messed up hair from being in there. Um, I left the elastics around the horse hair to try and keep it from getting too unruly. And I did give this girl a brush somewhere in her box. She's got a hairbrush. So she has 
spirit and lucky and lucky articulates uh, her knees even bend her do her arm her arms move but her elbows don't bend and her head moves so that she can get on the horse and she has something soft a little pony by the name of derby it's a thai beanie baby that i snagged from a thrift store for 50 cents a couple years ago like new with t not even a, a crease in the tag so that was a great find she has a jump rope this one's from walmart i got it last summer after the summer clearance when they were 90 percent off so i only paid 10 cents for that one and she has a nice bounce ball these are from amazon and this was contributed by linda hitchcock she also has a whistle this also comes from amazon i'll link all the amazon items below if you're interested these came in bulk i don't know like 60 or 72 whistles in another zippered cosmetic pouch contributed by a viewer got unicorns all over it another type of horse inside she's got lots of goodies this is where I put her hairbrush it's a pop-up mirrored hairbrush that I got from the Dollar Tree in this mauve color and I gave her a comb as well so she'll have something for her own hair and for her doll and horse's hair then inside this organza bag i tuck some jewelry she's got a couple of silver bangle bracelets now denise l recently sent these it was a pack of four but i felt for a 10 to 14 year old girl that maybe four was too many to give her all of them so I split them up hope that's okay Denise <laughs> um, yeah so I gave her two silver ones and I gave her the silver because she has this beautiful horse necklace that was contributed by a viewer from my Amazon wish list isn't it cute isn't it great I love this and uh, this was contributed by an anonymous viewer and when i tell you it's an anonymous viewer i know who it is that she just wishes to remain anonymous and then i added a card of earrings she's got two gold hearts and two like pinkish mauve little crystal type daisies i guess they are and then some ivory roses we'll call them <laughs> so she's got some really great jewelry i know that girls this age love to get jewelry so um it's one of my favorite things to pack in 10 to 14 shoe boxes the earrings by the way came on a card with two scrunchies I got them on clearance from Dollar General for 45 cents for the two scrunchies this is one of them and it's mauve and you'll see why um, some of her things are going to be mauve in just a minute um, yeah so it goes well with her earrings these ones in the middle that are kind of mauve colored and then I gave her two mauve hair bows she can wear one on each pigtail if she's got them or one in her hair and I gave her the best match that I could for a headband if she needed a headband in order to be able to wear the bows and the headband is from Joan these are those great ones with that silicone gripper on the inside from my Amazon wish list and then she also has a painted 
wood cross in this purple color. These are the ones that I get from Hobby Lobby and I've added a satin cord that's long enough to wear around her neck if she wishes or she can just hang it in her room. Then the other hair items are a bunch of hair elastics from Angie. Those are goodie hair elastics in different colors and some butterfly clips from Annabeth. I gave her six. And lastly, some metal snap hair barrettes from the red ones and the chevron ones are from Angie. And they took them all into this four by six organza bag, which is from Annabeth. So thank you, ladies. There are a couple more things in here. A Twizzlers strawberry flavored lip balm that I need to slip into a plastic sleeve just in case excessive heat makes it melt. We want to protect the other things in the shoebox. And two mini spirit horses that came in blind bags. I think, yeah, I think there were bl well, blind boxes from Walgreens on clearance. I think I paid 65 cents each for them. So she has two mini spirit horses. And that's it for this bag. She has one more headband with daisies on it that I thought was really pretty. I didn't stuff it into this bag because I didn't want the petals to get all scrunched up. She's got some undergarments, two pairs of girls size 14 underwear slipped into another four by six organza bag and a bralette. This was a nice find from Walmart. Uh, these Reebok bralettes came two to a pack. They were on clearance. Some of the two packs I got for $3 and some I got for a dollar, but I bought uh, what I could find. This is a size small and it has removable cups in it um, so she can wear it however she wishes. She's got a couple pairs of socks, one white anklet sock, Fruit of the Loom, and then a darker pair, black with these multicolored, uh, looks like macaroons to me. Um, I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, but they're just, I like to include a dark ground sock whenever I can. You know, it doesn't show dirt as, as easily. And then she's got a very cool t-shirt with a horse on it. And this is why I've put the mauve things in because this shirt is mauve and it has this colorful horse on it and it's not a unicorn. That was hard to find a horse on a t-shirt without a unicorn. I got this at the children's place. Um, I'm, I'm sure I got it on sale and this one is an XXL. And I got the XXL size 16 because I feel that uh, Children's Place t-shirts run a little bit on the small side, plus it's 100% cotton. And even by Children's Place own admission, if you look at the size chart that they have online, um, I think they say the XXL only fits up to age 12. And I think that would fit easily a 14, but that's what it says. And this came in a two pack. It said it was a horse two pack, but the other t-shirt was a unicorn, which is fine. I can still use that, but I, I gave this young lady the horse. And then let's go ahead and pull out her notebook and some other things. I gave her um, a really pretty spiral notebook for school. Isn't that pretty? This is like a translucent pattern of feathers. It's the same on both sides, the poly cover. And I grabbed that from Walmart, uh, I don't know, last year or the year before, I think for 50 cents. And it matches her t-shirt. She's also got a fun 
sticker book, Horses and Ponies. This is from the Dollar Tree. You might recognize it if you shop there. And I think they have a newer cover. I, I got this quite some time ago, probably back when they were still a dollar. And it has fantastic pictures of horses in it and also stickers on the inside and places where you can put your favorite horses. And we've got more of there and more photos. It's just a really pretty book if you like horses. So she's got that. And I gave her some how to draw horses illustrations that I downloaded from the internet. And I gave her those because the journal I gave her, isn't that pretty? It says, worry ends when faith begins on the front of it in gold. I don't know if you can read that. But her journal is a plain paper journal. So she can either write or draw in it easily. And I also slipped in there some guides. So she'll have some line guides. This one's eight millimeter, this one's seven millimeter, six millimeter, and then there's a five millimeter graph page. And I downloaded those from the internet and cut them to fit in her journal. And she's got a fun novelty pen to write in that journal with. I always like to give a novelty pen when I give a journal. I just think it's fun to have something special to write in your journal with. And this has that almost like holographic tinsel on it. Nice and sparkly. Picks up the colors of anything you put it near. I think she'll enjoy that. She has a card game. Phillies, Foals, and Fantasy. And this came from the Dollar Tree. And it's by Top. And it's got, I, I don't want to open it up because it's shrink wrapped, but each card has different pictures of different horses on it. And even if she doesn't want to play the game or can't read the instructions um, how to play the game, she can make up her own game or just use it to look at the pictures of the horses. She's got a collapsible flying disc from Charlotte. Those are a lot of fun. A pencil pouch filled with school supplies. The mesh pencil pouch is from Amazon, uh, from a 20-pack, I believe. It comes out to about 50 cents. And inside she has eight pencils. Four of them are number two pencils that I've topped with um, cap erasers. She's got a red, black, and a blue pen, a couple of pencil sharpeners, a white block eraser, and then a Sharpie highlighter, and the highlighter is from Angie. She has a nice pocket-sized solar calculator from Joan, and I intentionally leave these uh, calculators in the packaging so that the buttons don't get pressed and it doesn't stay on and lose its juice in, uh, in transit. She's got something else I'm leaving in the packaging. I don't always leave things in packagings, but sometimes I do. And in this case, I'm leaving it, uh, this little manicure set in the packaging just because I thought it just made a nice presentation and uh, it almost makes it a, a, a wow type of gift. And of course, it's got um, a toenail clipper, fingernail clippers, got emery boards, the orange sticks and some tweezers in it. This is by Diamond Cosmetics and I got the set at the Dollar Tree. I thought that was a great price. Oh, and here's another reason I should leave it in the packaging. What color is that? Mauve. So I think she'll enjoy having that. She has the most beautiful drawstring backpack I think I've ever seen. Is that not gorgeous? It's a paint, colorful painting of a horse. 
And this was a contribution from the same anonymous donor who donated the horse necklace. And I love it. I think she will too. It's a nice sturdy weight with um, heavy duty cords. It's just made really nice and I think she will love that for school or to tote her items home. But she also has another tote. This is one that I made her out of a solid color linen. It's actually a, uh, an upholstery type fabric, so it's got a nice heavy weight to it. And I made it to be more of a handbag type of tote. It's shaped, it's almost shaped like the feed bags that they use for horses. But I lined it in this pretty horse print fabric that I found on clearance at Walmart quite some time ago. But I made it, I made it reversible. You know, the print is busy. So that's why I, I have it inside out for the lining. But she can turn it the other way. She can use the bag solid or she can use it with the uh, print on the outside, whatever she prefers. So she's got a nice roomy tote bag, big enough to use as a purse or a satchel or to grab vegetables from the market or tote things around to school if she needs. She's also got some spirit lenticulars. These came from Walmart. Valentine, they're Valentine's Day cards. Um, a couple of years ago, I got these and I've been using them, but I still think I have some more left. But I gave her a whole sheet, and I think those are fun, especially for kids who haven't seen anything like that before. She has a beautiful coloring book, and I used this coloring book in the equestrian shoebox I did last year. I got it at Dollar General, and they're normally three dollars, and that's what I paid last year, but I found this one on clearance for 90 cents. And so that's why I bought it again, because you can't beat that for this beautiful coloring book. I mean, are these not gorgeous? They're just beautiful, beautiful um, illustrations to color. And then inside I tucked some stickers She's got a couple of sheets of spirit stickers. These came from the Dollar Tree in a booklet of four sheets, but uh, she's just got two there. And these were sent by Jessica. She sent these to me a long time ago in an envelope. Thanks, Jessica. That's perfect for this shoebox. And then she's got some more lenticulars. These are really pretty. These are those Momeco. Um, Stickers, they are stickers, but they're square lenticulars, and uh, they came from the Dollar Tree. I thought those were pretty. And then, okay, I'm running out of room here. Let's put these right here. She's got colored pencils to color in that pretty coloring book. She can also use those colored pencils on her prayer card, which is a pretty pattern that is meant to be colored. Whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. That's Corinthians 10.31. She has some other little stickers. I just gave her some assorted, fun, skateboard-type stickers that I got from Shein.com. And uh, I, these are just a mixture of different packages, cute Fun stickers, some pretty butterflies, flamingos, strawberries, and I think some bicycle pictures and some travel pictures with luggage. I love those stickers from Shein. And she has a ruler with centimeters and inches on it for school. And last but not least, she has a toothbrush with a cap on it that I've slipped into one of the cello 
bags provided by Joan in order to keep it as clean and sanitary as possible in its travels. So that completes the horse girl shoebox that I've packed for a 10 to 14 year old girl. I hope you enjoyed this one and got some ideas and inspiration for packing your shoe boxes this year. Thanks for joining me today and I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.